hey folks and uh, good afternoon <laughs> it's still early yet. Um, hey uh, welcome to the more summer 2020 adventures day 74 it's September the 7th 2020 and uh, we have had a good trip today uh, we still had the wind uh, in areas not as drastic as it was yesterday but in some areas it was it was fierce um, but it wasn't uh, the entire five and a half six hour drive okay um, we left uh, Green River Wyoming um, and headed west on 70 or on 80 excuse me on 80 um, then we picked up uh, was it uh, I 15 took that south to Highway 6 took that to US 191 took that to I 70 and went east three miles to remember now I said Green River Wyoming tonight we are in Green River Utah okay <laughs> we are at the Shady Acres RV Park in Green River Utah um, again folks uh, and and I watched on the news a little bit ago um, this smoke that, that is in the pictures this is I mean we're in Utah okay we're like 60 miles or less from the Colorado border okay the wind is blowing from the east yes now realize now there's like six or seven fires in Colorado but the wind is blowing from the from the west excuse me not the east the west Colorado is to our east this smoke that we're seeing is from the forest fires in California okay and as, as some of you have been following uh, at the family reunion time uh, the you know uh, the 21st of, of last month um, one of our cousins lost uh, their house in one of those fires so uh, you know we've been keeping an eye on that but uh, the smoke and, and even right now uh, you know with the wind and I'm hoping you're hearing me okay because the wind is blowing a little bit not not as bad as it was on the road but it is blowing um, but uh, the smoke uh, it's it's thick we come through uh, the eastern side if you will maybe even not actual Salt Lake City proper but the metropolitan area east of it between Salt Lake City and the mountains and uh, it was hard to tell whether it was pollution from Salt Lake City in the metro area I mean the large metro area or if it was the smoke from California, perhaps a combination of both. Um, you know, I mean, uh, the 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 growth that I saw, and I hadn't I hadn't been I I had been on 70 on the southern and western side of Salt Lake City, but never on the eastern side. And we were on I-15. Um, I've never seen the. Uh, that side of Salt Lake City for so I mean the large metropolitan area that that it is um, I would suspect that it was probably a combination of the pollution and the smoke but uh, we did see some beautiful area today uh, we did see a couple of, uh, of uh, pronghorn uh, antelope okay uh, no more buffalo okay a lot of cattle uh, some some mining but not a whole lot but a lot of agriculture a lot of ranching you know, open and then of course uh, along the rivers you know you've got uh, the recreational areas a lot of state parks that we pass through some of them will be in the video some of them won't um, because I mean I've got over 225 pictures or 230 pictures and I only post 80 of them so in the video is one of them so at least be 79 right <laughs> But uh, hey, folks, uh, this 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 campground it's a it's a good Sam affiliation, um, and it's 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 shady. I mean, it's it's got shade trees. That's you know, happy happy joy joy. Okay, but uh, since we've been here, we've had three people pull in beside of us. You know, uh, I got one spot right here that I'm facing. Of course, it's in the back of the camera, uh, back of the phone, but. You know that's empty but the other ones in this little section that I'm in are, are full and we were the first ones here you know so um, it is a, a nice park and I've got yeah I'm happy all right about this there is an RV 
vehicle wash station here in the campground okay yeah blessed right here blessed is going to get a bath before we leave um i said today is day 74 and she's been on the road for 74 days and uh minus the you know the days like you know we've stopped at 10 days and swim and 10 days in bisbee you know but you know we've been away from home for 74 days and she needs a bath she's gonna get one tomorrow uh, actually maybe the day after tomorrow before we leave and then i can uh, can wax it before we leave so i'll probably do that tomorrow probably do it tomorrow because uh, it'll take a couple hours to wax it um you know but that that being said uh, excuse me folks uh, small little flies here uh, I'm gonna show you something here real quick. I hope it shows up. See all that green right there? That would make my oldest brother-in-law and his son very, very happy. Uh, that's a golf course, <laughs> okay? Um, always a hacker, never was a golfer, all right? And uh, I give it up years ago, just a hacker. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know, I say we, di we did have uh, a fairly good ride uh, towns that we did go through after we got away from the metropolitan area of Provo and Salt Lake City and all of that uh, oh no thanks no thanks uh, you know Chrissy made a comment you know she goes of all the cities that we have seen on this trip I haven't found one that I want to live in you know and I agree with her you know, just uh, a small town boy uh, small city large town bigger than that no thank you okay now I wouldn't mind to drive to it if it's a short distance away, you know. For the but uh, all the hustle and bustle and uh, the concrete jungle, nah. Uh, concrete and asphalt is not for me. I like my trees, my mountains, and my greenery. Okay. But all that being said, uh, hey, you know we're we're going to spend a couple of days here. We're going to go down to uh, Moab tomorrow, or the the national park anyway, not to, to Moab. Um, I think that's the closest national park. We're only going to spend a couple of days here, and then uh, we'll get back on the road. But uh, that being said, uh, you know, it's it's hard to believe. You know, we got 46 days left, and we should be home. You know, we're over halfway on our trip. Um, you know, some interesting parts are still to come. Okay, some interesting parts, and it's all good. Uh, well, for the most part. Okay. For the most part but uh that being said folks so you know um it's early yet so i don't really have a whole lot to talk about um you know god was good with us today uh you know we had one uh, one knucklehead that uh came down off the off ramp uh from in that metropolitan area of, of salt lake city area and uh, was in the right hand lane and just pulled right across in front of me hit the binders and almost came to a stop because he wanted to get over into the left lane instead of waiting for me to pass and get it because there wasn't anybody behind me but he was in a rush um, you know i didn't say no bad words uh, i beat my horn if i had known it was in a van a minivan if i'd have known it wasn't a family and it was just him by himself i'd have laid on the horn hard he didn't know i was there but i just beat my horn a little bit you know i was trying to be christian-like <laughs> And I didn't say no bad words, and I didn't. I said, "Hey, jerk! You know what are you doing?" That's that was about the extent of it, okay? <laughs> but uh, you know, and that was in that Salt Lake City area. What can I say? All right. But uh, speaking of that, uh, hey, folks, uh, today's scripture is Matthew 11:28 and 29. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls you know um, it's kind of kind of neat that that was a scripture today because um, you know, before we went to that devotional service yesterday uh, or two days ago yeah Sunday morning well, yesterday morning before we left uh, Casper you know we watched uh, the live stream of our our service our home church back in, in North Carolina and Pastor Robert spoke about this exact exact scripture, taking Christ's yoke, you know, being heavy laden, 
and I will give you rest. Folks, we don't have to solve the problems of the world. That's not in our DNA. We may try. That's in our DNA. But we cannot solve the problems of the world. The only one who can is Jesus Christ. Okay? We may think we can. And this is where it goes back to that heart thing from a couple days ago about you know how deceitful your heart may be. We may believe we can. And we may be able to solve some certain issues in our own sphere of influence. But to solve the problems of the nation or to solve the problems of the world? No, we cannot. We cannot. And many of those problems are, are beyond our control and are beyond our making. All right? So, uh, you know, and like say uh, others, you know, also, you know, uh, come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You know, that's the short version. And again, it's Matthew 11, 28 and 29. You know, come to me. He's beckoning us. He's saying, don't do it by yourself. You know, all who labor and are heavy laden, are you tired of knocking yourself out and trying to get some results that never change? Turn it over to Christ. That's what the scripture is saying. Come to me. Give it to me. Let me have it. Let me have it. I will give you rest. You go relax. Go sit down. Let me be in charge. You know, and that's the problem that I have. You know, I give thanks to the Lord. And that carnal Jerry in me keeps taking it back. Lord, you know, I, I'll fix it. You know, I, I've got a breather now. I can, I can, I can go on. I can, I can fix it. You know, nah, give it to Christ and let Him have it. Don't take it back. <laughs> Don't do it, Jerry. Don't take it back. Just give it to Him. And let Him go. Okay. You know, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You know, even Christ did that on the cross. about it I commit my soul into you father I commit my soul to you he gave it to his heavenly father okay we are supposed to handle it okay give it to Christ let him fight your battles and you may not get results today you may not get results next week or next month but I promise you you will get the results that Christ God has for you and his will will be on your life okay. you all be blessed uh, we're going to be spending a couple days here hopefully we'll have some pictures of uh, the national park and whatnot I don't know we'll see what tomorrow brings um, it's like in the 80s today and it's supposed to be in the 40s for the next two days and maybe some snow so instead of being shorts and t-shirt who knows hey it might be jacket and jeans okay God bless y'all we'll see you tomorrow good night